So there's the thing I was watching last night. I don't want to watch this. I don't really like I don't like to watch this <laughs> stuff, man. Yeah. But but it was the like the man, like the the guy, the man, like the male, the nurse, the guy who's like killing patients and stuff like that. And I think a lot of people knew like what like people knew what was going on, and that he was doing that. But it seems like there was just people who didn't report him. And these were people who were like concerned about probably losing their job and their benefits. There's one lady on there. She was saying like, yeah, she was worried about. She had some health conditions. She had a family. She was, and that was like an hesitation of hers is that if she goes and she does these, if she reports on this guy that she might, she, well, she's going to lose her job and if she's not going to have benefits and she's not going to be able to take care of her family. So I think when you think about it in those terms, like it's kind of, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like, well, what does that person do in that circumstance? Of course, she decided to do what I believe is the right thing and just go ahead and report. But there's no, like, there's no reward for doing the right thing. Like, you do the right thing, you be out in the streets because you did the right thing. So, like, I think that's, that's why I kind of say that's complicated. And but as far as people, like, not speaking up and things like that, it's because they, it's because you're not in control. Like, you're not in control because if you can say whatever you want to say, and you don't have to worry about the repercussions, you would do it. We see people that do that. They say what they want to say and don't really care. And there's re- actually very few people who do that. Shows you how many people are not in control, <laughs> actually. But I don't know if I answered that, Joe. What, what do you think about that? Well, if I'm hearing you correctly, the example that of whatever show you're watching is basically it was a medical professional, rather practicing malpractice or having a few scenarios where it's malpractice, where he's unfortunately letting his patients pass or whether he's intentionally doing it or not. And he's saying intentionally. That- he was intentionally doing yeah, it. Yeah, it was intentional. It was intentional. And, and I guess his coworkers weren't speaking up when they should have. Yeah, they were scared. Oh, okay. They were scared to say. Well, you know, I mean, the reason why I asked that question, and it's funny that you gave that example, a little harsh, but but you know, <laughs> you know, it it still applies. That's the that's that's the piece I'm getting at as far as like that's a perfect example. Giving away your power. You know, you see something wrong, you see something happening, and you made the choice to actually not say anything you gave up your power bro and i'm not saying it's right or wrong just because it's subjective you know these people want to stay in the good graces like they don't want nothing happening to them whether it's their work situation or the man coming after them right so they want to keep quiet on it but you know on the other hand if you're really stern on being powerful you know what i'm saying or well, not necessarily powerful, but sustaining your power. In other words, controlling what you can control. Then, yeah, it's necessary for you to do that. But the kicker is maybe you are sustaining your power by not saying anything and just letting it just, I guess, get swept under the rug. You know what I'm saying? And I'm getting at this because the way you determine how you give away your power strictly is based on your values and principles. <laughs> 